This is breaking news. Kirk Franklin's son, Carrion Franklin, was arrested. And who did he contact? None other than the King of Gospel, Larry Reed, to help him out. Listen, before we get into it, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This is your girl, Hidden Treasure. And as always, thank you for watching and welcome. Listen, carry on contact with the King of Gospel. This was a breaking news story on So take a listen to the video, comment below, tell me what you think, because now this is involving another young lady that's not here with us anymore, if you know what I, what I mean, and he's driving her vehicle, and there was a gun found in the vehicle that he was driving in, so the plot gets bigger and bigger. Take a listen, comment below, I'd love to hear from you, and as always, thank you for watching. Telling me that, and so he called me today, and he was telling me that he had been arrested. He's been locked in jail. He said he was wrongfully arrested. Now, this is what he told me. He told me that he was wrongfully arrested, and he was stopped because of his tail light. So when they did that, he said that they were they putting other charges. This is what he said that they're putting other charges on him. And now they have locked them up and something about he can't get out to Tuesday. So it was a very quick phone call. And I said, calm down, carry on until we can get you out. And so when I began to look into getting him out, I began to run into some other things. When I looked, they arrested him because of some charges in Texas. And the charges in Texas, there's no bond for. But as they begin to deal with carry on, now you watch Bad Boy Club, so you know how that can go. And you also have heard the audio between him and his dad. You know both of them pop off it. And so in that exchange, there was an altercation with the cops. They're now calling it resisting arrest. So that's another charge and then they began to search his car stop for the tail light allegedly but i gotta tell you something else that i'm finding out with that and they searched the car and then they found a gun allegedly now carry on told me on the phone that they're trying to slap two other charges on on him just because and that the charges were not true so carry on is saying he did not I take the one he said he did not resist arrest and that there was no gun that they found that was his. So I'm assuming that he's alleging that the gun was planted. So then I found out that there basically was no way for us to really get him, at least not right now. I haven't discovered one because they have to extradite him to Texas. Someone calls, calls me because of my post. So then they began to tell me how he had been questioned for a murder. So now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, a murder. So the first thing I thought about was CJ. Because see, carry on and CJ, he was upset because of the accusation that he was alleging that carry on was making against his father that was so hideous that I will not even repeat on this platform. And then he does up and dead. So I'm like, wait a minute, let me call here, let me call them, let me call them. And so it's not about his death because that was an overdose. So Carry On was being questioned about another murder of a female. And I said, okay, well, what would, I mean, 
He told me that the brake light, whatever, was out. And that's why they stopped him. They said, mm, that may not be the reason why they stopped him because he's driving the car of the murdered victim. 